AA. Nah. Thank you for tuning in to another episode of Classified Captures. We can't think of no better way to spend the holidays except through excitement, thrills, and of course, jump scares. We've got all that and more in today's episode, so let's jump right into it. As promised, we kick off today's episode with a trail cam capture like no other. Take a look. Yes, these are actual trail cam captures. Somehow the owner of this trail capture got lucky enough to capture not one, but two different Bigfoots near his campsite. According to him, he'd set it up so he could confirm once and for all if the rumors that Bigfoots lived near their home were true. And boy, did he find out about their existence in grand style. I mean, it's either that or people found out what he was doing and decided to troll him. Looking at the capture, however, I'm tempted to believe that this is real. What about you? Before we move on to the next one, do tell me something. Would you camp out in an area rumored to have Bigfoots just to prove their existence? Or does this sound like a dumb and unsafe idea? Share your thoughts in the comment section. You know, there are times when I pretend to not know something just so you guys can tell me what it is. Well, this isn't one of those times. I genuinely have no idea what the creature in the next clip is. Perhaps you can help. Does it look like anything that you've ever seen or handled? No one in my team knows what it is, and I certainly don't have an idea what it is either. I've combed the internet, but just didn't know how to describe it to bring it up. Given the fact that the one recording the footage is wearing gloves, I'm pretty sure it's either poisonous or venomous. But what is it really? If you have answers, please share them with us in the comment section. We really want to know. Next, we visit the mountains of Romania. This is one of those unaware clips where the individual in question captures something without knowing it till he's home. Enjoy. This is the image he captured. If you look closely behind the pile of twigs, you'll notice a creature with a striking primate resemblance. You don't need to zoom in to have an image of Bigfoot take over your imagination. As intriguing as the capture is, we've got to ask, why was Bigfoot there? Was he stalking the man? Did they accidentally cross paths? Or did it have something sinister planned? Either way, you have to agree that the man is quite fortunate that despite being so close in proximity to the creature, nothing funny or remotely dangerous happened to him, even if Bigfoots don't have a reputation for being violent. Next, we have a curious case from downtown Flint, Michigan. Take a look. The footage was sent in by a man who was more excited than he was knowledgeable about what he'd discovered. Nestled in the tree on your screen is a hard structure that looks like a stone with markings from ancient times. But from what we can tell based on the footage, the stone is buried deep in the ground as far as the roots go, and maybe deeper. The man claims this tree has been around for possibly 200 years or more. If that's true, how on earth did this thing end up inside the tree? Could it be a structure, perhaps from an ancient civilization, mysteriously embedded in the tree's core? It's hard to say, but my money is on that as the potential outcome. Are there horned men in existence? Well, if you answered no, our next footage might surprise you. Take a look. Imagine a well-built guy rocking what looks like a legit horn sticking out of his noggin, all while donning a snazzy skirt made of dried leaves. Talk about a fashion statement. See what I did there? I sounded young and hip. Kudos to myself. Now you're probably thinking, wait, can humans even grow horns? 
That's a valid question by all standards. Sadly, it's one of varied and contradicting responses. I mean, well, it's not natural, but that doesn't make it impossible. We literally have a man on our screens who appears to have. Maybe this guy is a different species altogether, or perhaps Mother Nature decided to spice things up and give him an upgrade. As much as I want to roll out the wild theories, there's also the possibility that it might be a cultural thing. Some places around the globe are known for unique body modifications. Perhaps this is a modification that's done among his people. But since we cannot verify that, we're left to speculate and theorize. What's your theory? Next, we have footage from a hiker in Utah who spotted a bizarre looking creature walking through the woods. From the footage, we can tell that the creature had dark fur and stood about seven feet tall. Unlike a Sasquatch, the creature had long arms that it used to move reminiscent of a gorilla. If you pay attention, you'll hear something odd when it moves. Holy shit. Sounds like metal, does it not? That's had me becoming skeptical about the whole thing. Why would a Sasquatch's footsteps sound metallic? It doesn't add up now, does it? We did the research and found out that there are times when hunters will wear a ghillie suit and move on stilts. Looking at the footage, I'm convinced that that's what we may be dealing with. What do you think? While on a family stroll, a man and his family discover something interesting. It's a peculiar rock structure that's shut tighter than a treasure chest should be. He suspects it could be a secret government facility or one that leads to aliens. Now, I'm not one to jump to conclusions, but this is giving strange, weird, and suspicious vibes. It's like the beach's version of Fort Knox, but made of rocks. The big question is, what on earth could be tucked away inside? That, I guess, we'd never find out. To the ground again. What if this is a freaking government secret door or there's aliens behind it? I don't know. You tell me. Bye. Before you watch the next clip, could you please hit the like button, subscribe, and even drop a comment if you haven't already. It goes a long way to make it possible to create more videos for you. Thank you for doing so. Moving back to the day's episode. Next, we visit the borders of the Kentucky Islands for some strange and quite frankly spooky vocalizations. Imagine hearing this while chilling in your cozy island abode or sipping sweet tea or whatever islanders do. There's no way you'd recover from it. I don't know about you, but they sound like howls and barks combined that are echoing throughout the woodlands. We did some further analysis on the audio and realized that they don't sound like any animal we know. The vocalizations, however, hint at a very large creature. Given the fact that the area is known to have Bigfoot sightings, we don't have to go too far to guess what we could be dealing with, do we? For our next footage, you might want to hold on to your hats because we've got some weather drama brewing right in your backyard shed. Imagine this. Someone's just puttering around, maybe looking for a hammer or contemplating the mysteries of life, when, out of nowhere, he or she stumbles upon the meteorological marvel of the century, a mini whirlwind forming inside the shed. There it is, this mini whirlwind, a twirling dance of white smoke coming from the ceiling. I'm no meteorologist, but I'm pretty sure this isn't how things are formed. What could have caused it? Is it natural? Who knew your shed could be the birthplace of weather phenomena?
This footage was recorded by a man who was woken up by strange screams in the middle of the night. Now, most of us would probably hide under the covers and call for help. The most we may do is grab a flashlight, but not this guy. Oh no, he went out to see what it was, and this is what he found. Hanging from the tree is this ghostly figure disturbing the whole neighborhood. The first thing that came to my mind was a ghost, but why the screaming though? Is it an evil spirit having a midnight meltdown on the tree branches, or did someone lose their way during a creepy costume party? I mean, who hangs out on a tree in the middle of the night? The footage abruptly ends there, so we don't know if the man went further to investigate or if he just retired to bed. What do you think that thing is, though? Any experience? While at a lake, a group of kids came across a huge fish lying lifeless in the water. While I don't understand why the little boy is in the water with it, one can't help but think that lifeless creature does look like a shark with razor-sharp teeth. It is hard to identify the exact kind of fish it is because its skin appears to have already started decomposing. It is too small to be a whale and too big to be a dolphin. So what could this be? Share your thoughts. A hiker came across this strange structure in the middle of the woods. It was a cave made out of branches that had been carefully put together. Who or what could have made this cave in the middle of the woods? Some skeptics are leaning toward the idea that this might just be a hunter's hideout. But the true paranormal enthusiasts are throwing their bets on it being a Bigfoot cave. Because, you know, nothing says Bigfoot was here like a carefully crafted branch cave. What do you think is the truth behind the structure? Is it just some DIY project by an over-enthusiastic camper? Or did Bigfoot pull a grand design move in the heart of the forest? Well, 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 look at this mysterious bundle of joy. We've got a creature on our hands and it's not exactly winning any beauty contests now, is it? After all, it's a hideous looking creature that has the appearance of a baby. It also has very pale skin with razor sharp teeth, spotting a strange smile that says, I will eat you for dinner. Now, I don't know about you, but I'm seriously questioning who or what decided to create this little bundle of nightmares. Was it Mother Nature being sinister, or did some mad scientists decide to hit the Create Creepy Baby button in their secret lab? Share your thoughts. A group of men found this strange-looking creature that looked like a snake with four limbs. Critically inspecting it, one can tell that it's indeed very strange and unlike any reptile we've ever seen. It's what someone would describe as a hybrid of a snake and a lizard. Its long neck is crooked, but unlike your typical snake, this thing doesn't go all out with the tongue action. It keeps it classy, tongue firmly in its mouth. You can't really tell if this creature is legit chill and just vibing with the guys. It could also be scared out of its wits because, well, let's be real, imagine being discovered by a bunch of dudes. You could be giving them the side eye too, right? Technology and AI are advancing so fast that it is almost terrifying. Just take a look at this display in Vegas. The footage was taken by a passenger on a plane. He was filming what you see on your screen. You can see that the display starts with a round thing, and then as the image changes, we see a bottle image from it, and move upwards, it looks almost real like a giant bottle, but it's fake. 
It's cool, sure, but it's also a tad bit terrifying. Not because it's dangerous, but because it's unreal what we can do with technology these days. The scary part is that AI is basically involved in a lot of things of late and has become like that overachiever student acing every subject. So what are your thoughts on this? Is this really in Vegas? If it is, have you seen it? If you haven't, do you find it cool? Tell us in the comments. On that note, if you still haven't liked, commented, or subscribed to the channel yet, please do so now before I send that creature after you. On a more serious note, it really helps out a ton and gives us the opportunity to keep making these videos for you. So please do so and share this video with your friends and family. Thank you very much. A woman and her kids decided to take a breather in the woods and just have some fun. But imagine the terror of the woman when she spotted a huge creature among the trees. The creature had dark fur and bulging muscled arms. It was stalking the woman and her kids. The frightened woman called out for her kids to get inside. The creature, when it realized that it had been spotted, dashed off. It looked like a Bigfoot, but its head had this peculiar look that did not tally with our image of a Bigfoot. Its arms were also abnormally large and muscular. Yes, Bigfoot has large arms, but not like that. So what's the deal here? Is this Bigfoot's gym buddy or just another creature adding a dash of mystery to the woods? Not knowing what she was dealing with, this mom was not taking any chances as she made everyone move back into the vehicle. I'm no prophet, but I can bet that she and her kids won't be making plans for a woodland picnic anytime soon. Ah, the classic mysterious lights in the night sky scenario. You gotta love those. So a Facebook user spots this curious sight. Not one, not two, but four enigmatic lights just doing their thing in the night sky. It's like someone threw a handful of glow sticks into the night sky and called it a day. They look like they belong to some kind of spacecraft. It also looked like all four lights did not belong to one craft, but four separate crafts. Who could they belong to, though? Alien visitors? Is the military practicing some secret maneuvers? Or maybe just some unusually coordinated sky lanterns having a night out? It's hard to say, but you're allowed an opinion. What do you think? A hiker on the Colorado mountain spotted what he believed to be a Sasquatch back in 2009. The creature was hiding behind some rocks looking at the hikers. It had brown fur. For those who don't know, these parts are like the hot spots for Bigfoot sightings. The sightings are so often that it's almost like a rite of passage to spot one there. Once the hiker in question noticed the creature, the brave soul decided to go back and investigate the spot. He wanted to make sure he had really seen what he had seen. What does he find when he goes back? No Bigfoot, no just a pile of straw. Was Bigfoot camping there, or did it put the straw there to mislead the hiker? Share your thoughts. This footage has been circulating the internet for quite a while now, but every time I watch it, it just gives me anxiety. In the footage, we have a group of daredevils living life on the edge, deciding to turn the famous Monticello Dam into their own personal swimming pool. These guys are having a grand old time frolicking in the water. Like they're on vacation when one guy takes a not so graceful slip and down he goes into the glory hole. Now the glory hole is not there for a casual dip, it's to control the water released to and from the dam. I don't know why these guys decided to take a bath there because it's very dangerous. Maybe next time they'll stick to safer waters like a regular pool or, you know, anywhere that's not a dam with a name like Glory Hole. We're back in British Columbia again. 
This footage was sent in by a man who went fishing only to come across some tracks around a riverside. The soft soil on the ground had molded on it three perfect tracks. There were several of the footprints around, which were much bigger than his size 10 feet. The prints were about 15 or more inches and were pretty deep in the ground. Now, this fisherman's no stranger to these prints. He's been spotting them regularly and believes that Bigfoot lives around there. Now that you've seen them yourself, what do you think? While driving late at night, a diver came across a strange figure on the side of the road. The figure wasn't that big, but it looked very scary and eerie. It spotted a pair of glowing eyes that resembled flames. The figure did not resemble any type of human leaving all who saw it with a wide range of theories and speculations on what the figure could be. One theory that runs through is that we are seeing what could be the legendary and mysterious Mothman. While I want it to be, it could also be just someone in a convincing Halloween costume looking for a ride. What do you think? Now that's a dear party you don't see every day. So you wake up one fine morning, stroll into your garage, and boom, you've got an audience of about 30 or more deer just chilling and giving you the deer in the headlights look. Talk about an overwhelming wake-up call. I mean, where did they all come from, and why are they just hanging out in the garage and staring at the guy like they own the place? And get this, the guy's not bothered in the slightest and just goes out to feed them. Is he running a deer spa in his garage, or does he just throw some snacks out regularly? Maybe they've got a deal. Who knows? Back in 2022, this image was circulating on the internet from the US. With little info on where the image came from, determining what this creature is has been nothing but a hustle. In the picture, we can see a dark furred creature walking in a river. The creature was roughly about seven feet tall and bipedal. Experts who came across the photo have examined it thoroughly and have tried to come up with a logical explanation as to what this is. But as far as we can see, this clearly looks like a Bigfoot. No bear or monkey has a posture like this. If you think otherwise, share your thoughts with us in the comment section. A truck driver went to work one morning, just like every other time, to go about his usual routine. But guess his surprise when he went to his truck and opened the door. The wheels of the truck were moving violently and the gear moving up and down. The truck was not moving or even ignited, so what in the world could be going on here? It's like the truck's got a mind of its own. But last time I checked, trucks don't come equipped with brains, right? I'm no expert, but I'm pretty sure trucks don't do this. So what's the deal here? Is it some kind of auto gymnastic routine, or maybe the ghost of a truck's past owner taking the wheel for a spin? I guess we may never know. Last footage scared Steven so much that he still is recovering from it. I'll review the following pieces in the meanwhile. The internet is indeed a treasure trove of strange footage, and some of it can be mind-bending. Let's take a look at this security footage. It was taken in the middle of the night. In the video, we can see a man running away from something. As he runs, he constantly looks behind him as if something is after him. Not long after, a terrifying creature emerges from behind him. The creature looks like giant insect, except it has a long tail like a reptile. The creature stalks after the man menacingly. Now, it's tempting to believe this footage is real, given the vivid details down to the creature's shadow. But could this be the handiwork of some top-notch CGI wizardry? After all, the idea of such a creature roaming our streets without everyone hitting the panic button seems a bit far-fetched.
Now buckle up for a dose of the bizarre. A group of people captured something straight out of the Matrix on camera. And then it turned on! Oh nope. Yo! I got that on camera! I got that on camera! Yo. I got that on camera! They're outside, casually filming the bright blue sky, when suddenly it's like someone hit the switch to turn off the daylight, and boom, the sky transforms into the dark of night. Now, the million dollar question, how on earth is this even possible? It's a head-scratcher for sure. The sudden switch from day to night defies the usual order of things. Is it a glitch in the matrix, a quirk of the camera, or perhaps an optical illusion playing tricks on our perception of time and space? Let's dive into this aquatic tale. A man patiently casts his bait into the water, and voila! He seemingly hooks a catch almost instantly. The anticipation rises as he reels it in, expecting a regular fish on the other end. But hold on, here comes the twist. As the catch nears the boat, it starts to put on a show, flapping and revealing its true form, a massive eel-like fish. But this is no ordinary eel. It has a long, dark body that's a bit too sizable to fit the eel category. So what does this fisherman do? Get the fish into the boat or set it free? Let us know what you think in the comments section below. This video just gave me anxiety. Take a look. This woman steps out of some type of elevator compartment, and the way the door closes is triggering. First, the two doors move sideways to close, but then another one appears from the top and moves down, forcing the woman to jump out. Here is another footage of a person walking in, but this time she almost gets crushed by the door, so she has to quickly move out. That was so close. Now, the big question lingers. What kind of elevator design malfunction is this? One thing's for sure. You won't catch yourself taking that ride anytime soon. Imagine going to take out the trash when you find this falling out of the trash bag. A huge head of an unknown beast with its mouth wide open, exposing its sharp teeth that are ready to bite your hand off. You can see this guy is trying to poke at the creature with a stick, but the creature seems to not be having it as it snarks at the stick. It's evident this isn't the real deal. It has all the hallmarks of a Halloween prank, but goodness, does it serve up a scare? A trash bag turning into a creature feature. Who would have thought? Let's discuss this recent footage of a suspected rake sighting, captured in October 2023. The video shows an empty forest in the middle of the night, and suddenly, a strange creature emerges from behind a huge tree. The creature has pale skin and a humanoid body but appears emaciated, and its head resembles a skeleton with hollow eyes. The creature seems to be crawling on the ground using its arms and legs. This depiction is different from what I expected a rake to look like up close. Most footage and images of rakes are typically taken from a distance, so I guess this could be a more accurate representation of their appearance. However, rakes are often described as having glowing eyes, but the creature in this video has no eyes at all. It raises the question of whether this could be a different species of rake or an entirely separate entity. We invite you to share your thoughts on what you think this creature might be based on the footage.
This encounter took place in Michigan in 1961, and the story was retold by the son of the man who had the experience. His father worked as a watchman at a manufacturing plant, primarily on night duty. Due to the nature of his job, their house was close to the factory and situated near woodlands known as the Hay Marsh. The son mentioned that his father was strict about not letting them play or go outside, especially at nightfall, as he had heard wild animals moving around the area on several occasions. One day, around 3 a.m., the father sat outside the house, keeping watch when he noticed some movement. Considering the time, he suspected it wasn't an ordinary visitor, and upon closer inspection, his suspicions were confirmed. The intruder was neither human nor animal. It had brown fur from head to toe and alternated between walking on all fours and its two legs. Shocked by what he saw, the watchman rushed inside to retrieve his gun and took his camera as well. The image he captured showed the creature hunched over on its two legs behind a streetlight. The creature wandered around for a while before eventually falling on all fours and running into the woods. The son relayed that his father mentioned the creature could be mistaken for a canine if he hadn't seen it walking on two legs earlier. Perhaps that's how the dogman blends into our world. Watch out for our canine pets, y'all. Imagine waking up, heading to your farm for the usual routine, and stumbling upon a colossal bone. A similar scenario unfolded for this farmer. Take a look at this massive bone he discovered in the fields. Ah, no manches. Esto es un hueso. Es un hueso. I'm completely puzzled about whose bone this could be. First thing that hit me was dinosaurs, but they're supposed to be long gone. Or maybe not. Could it be some otherworldly creature yet to be explored? The possibilities and thoughts are endless. What do you think about this? Let us know in the comments. Moving on from stuff that can be explained, how do you explain this video? Christy Panipchuk filmed this creature running on the water next to her boat as she was cruising a river in Alaska. Now, before you go thinking it's just shallow water, take a closer look. It's deeper than we're speculating, especially right next to the boat. Sure, maybe it's shallow on both sides, but not in the middle where the boat is. And let me tell you, this is beyond denying. What we've just witnessed is downright otherworldly. Now some say it's a cow moosey, but come on, let's be real. This is no moosey. It's an unexplained, unknown creature. What are your thoughts? Just a Musa, or is something way stranger happening here? Drop your theories in the comments. Ever seen two moons? It might sound wild, but there are videos out there where people caught this bizarre sight. Crazy, right? I was totally shocked when I came across this video. Check it out. My team and I dug deep to research this phenomenon. And you know what? It's legit, not some edited or fake stunt. Sometimes we see two moons because of optical illusions. Still don't get it? Let me break it down. Sometimes weather stuff like atmospheric conditions or clouds mess with our eyes, creating illusions that make it look like there are two moons. But here's the kicker. These illusions are just temporary and not the real deal up in the sky. Do you think a still artwork can move on its own? No, right? Well, you're wrong. Check out this mind-bending video. I know what you're thinking, but this isn't magic. The painting isn't physically moving. It's all about our perception. This is what they call reverse perspective artwork. Let me make it simpler for you. The artist crafts an optical illusion making us believe the painting is in motion when we move. It's not just a painting. It's like a magic spell that makes us wonder what's really happening. But what if, just imagine, the painting is truly moving? What if there are living beings trapped inside? The possibilities are wide open. Drop your theories in the comments.
Up next, get ready for a spine-chilling encounter with a mysterious creature spotted in a rock. Believe me, this footage is bound to keep you awake at night. Watch it at your own risk. Let's dive in. Did you catch that? Let's take a closer look. Critics are buzzing with theories, suggesting it might be a witch or a jinn, an Arabic term for a ghost. Notice how the folks in the field are boldly reciting an Islamic prayer, seeking protection from this eerie entity. But is it really a ghost, or is there a more earthly explanation? What's your take on this hair-raising spectacle? Share your thoughts. Let's dive into our next supernatural encounter. Recently, near L.A. Matheson Secondary School, a bird defied the laws of nature. It stood frozen in midair, motionless for hours, capturing the attention of bewildered onlookers. The viral video sparked intrigue as an animal rescue team rushed to the scene only to find the motionless bird vanished. This eerie incident challenges our understanding of reality. Did we witness a glitch in the matrix? A momentary disruption in the natural order? I guess we'll never know. This strange footage is like the classic riddle about what came first, the chicken or the egg. In this case, it's a scientifically unexplainable scenario captured in a video. The clip, posted by an unidentified source, displays a car stranded in the middle of the street with a tree piercing through it. What makes it even more confusing is that the tree appears fully grown, adorned with branches and leaves. The car looks as good as new, adding an extra layer of mystery. Some speculate it's a glitch in the matrix, while others think if the tree spontaneously shot through the car. What's your take on this bizarre situation? Let's talk about the anaconda, the biggest snake on the planet, stretching up to a whopping 9 meters. Look at this massive anaconda caught on camera, its strong body ready to squeeze the life out of its prey with intense force. Just the idea of an anaconda can give you chills. Now, in this video, we see an anaconda trying to climb a tree. It's a sight to see, but sadly, the tree can't handle the weight. Some of these snakes weigh a hefty 150 kilos. So, if you ever cross paths with one, it's not just a nerve-wracking moment. It's a bone-chilling encounter with the raw power of nature. This eerie photo, snapped in June 2021, reveals an octopus with more than the standard eight legs. The image spread like wildfire online, sparking a frenzy of theories about the creature's bizarre anatomy. Some claim toxic waste changed the way it looked, while others claim it is a result of a freak mutation. However, in my opinion, the ocean is huge, and we know only a small part, like 5 or 10 percent, of its creatures. Now, there's a photo of an octopus with extra tentacles, making us wonder, could it be a new kind? part of the octopus family we haven't met? Or does it trace back to some secret crossbreeding experiment? Scientists are digging into this puzzle, but their hushed discussions fuel our curiosity. The ocean has its secrets, and this strange picture suggests there's more we don't get. If you've got a guess about this mystery, drop it in the comments. Let's figure it out together. Do you believe in Bigfoot? Well, if you don't, this video might shake your belief. Check it out. This alleged Bigfoot sighting occurred in Poland. While critics argue it's edited or staged, upon closer inspection, it doesn't appear staged to me. But of course, that's just my opinion. What are your thoughts on it? Share in the comments below. I bet you've all seen various shapes in the clouds, faces, and animals being the most common. 
However, in this video, there are distinctly five fingers formed in the clouds. Check it out. Now, have you ever come across the Rolex logo? Well, the cloud arrangement here bears a striking resemblance to it. Is it merely a marketing tactic or does it carry a deeper message? Some theorists suggest it might be a signal from extraterrestrials, and there's speculation that scientists hold the key to its meaning. What's your take on this puzzling phenomenon? Share your thoughts in the comments below. Continuing our exploration of intriguing little beings, feast your eyes on this upcoming footage. Did you catch that? As the footage begins, the cameraman approaches a tree, their hands trembling visibly. But don't jump to conclusions, it's not Parkinson's at play. Instead, it appears the camera is zoomed in to the absolute maximum. After a few moments, the cameraman's fascination becomes evident. Some black fingers appear on the tree, hiding a body behind them. Despite the cameraman's best attempts, we never see the body. In the last few seconds, however, two glowing eyes hidden within the trees look at him. And so a veil of uncertainty shrouds the scene, leaving us pondering. What manner of creature could this be? Someone in the comments section of the original post states that it's an Ewok. If you've watched Star Wars, you should know what they are. But some commentators, more crowned in reality, stated it was a raccoon. I'm tempted to lean in with the raccoon hypothesis, but what do you think? Next, we have another perplexing footage you should definitely see. Have a look. In broad daylight, this trail cam captures a glimpse of a black creature as it ventures deeper into the woods. Upon closer examination of it, it bears a resemblance to the legendary Sasquatch more commonly referred to as Bigfoot. Its black fur and robust and humanoid build are dead giveaways. Aside from its physique, the uploader of the footage mentioned that it was moving quite quickly, as though it didn't want to be seen. I know you might be wondering what if it's just an ape from the region, but this is where things get serious. There are no apes where this footage was recorded, and that can only mean one thing. This is the real deal. Unless, of course, this is an elaborate hoax, which I'm hoping it's not, but what do you think about the whole thing? Speaking of ginormous creatures, have a good look at this next one. Yup, that's an actual wolf, and no, it's not a normal-sized wolf, but a gigantic one. In the footage, the wolf looks like it's roaming the area the footage was taken and having fun. In the initial seconds of the footage, it looks like it's a normal size, but as the one filming gets closer and the wolf draws night, it becomes apparent that's no normal wolf. But are there any records of wolves that size? Well, we didn't actually think so, but it turns out there's actually a cryptid known as the saber wolf or wahila that's known to inhabit the north and western part of the United States. And guess where this footage was reportedly taken? Alaska. And yes, it's in the northwestern part of the United States. So do you think we're dealing with the real thing or could something else be going on here? Share your thoughts with us in the comments section. Oh, and oh, if you do live in Alaska, could you confirm if you have seen these things or at least heard the rumors about them? We'd love to hear from you, even if it's a no. Talking of chills, this next footage shows the enigmatic Bigfoot taking a stroll across a field in the dead of night. The creature was so big that only the chest region came into view in the camera lens. Take a look. As the Bigfoot walks, its movements exude grandeur and confidence, as if it possesses a strong sense of ownership over its forest habitat. 
This adds to the mystique and fascination surrounding Bigfoot sightings and their supposed connection to dense wooded areas. However, it's important to approach the presented footage with a discerning mindset. Due to the limited view and the quality of the image, it becomes challenging to definitively conclude whether the figure captured is an actual Bigfoot or a digitally created animation. Experts in video analysis, including those knowledgeable in CGI and special effects, would be able to thoroughly examine the footage to determine its authenticity. What do you think? Hold on tight, because we've caught another thrilling trail cam capture that undeniably showcases a Bigfoot. This image checks all the boxes featuring the classic attributes of height, fur, a robust body, and the ability to walk upright. With each passing day, the mounting evidence surrounding these elusive beings continues to grow. What was once dismissed as mere legend and a rare occurrence has now become a frequent topic of discussion. It seems almost impossible to go a week without hearing of yet another Bigfoot sighting. One cannot help be struck by the sheer size of these creatures. Reports suggest that their feet are approximately twice the size of a human head and a staggering four times the size of human feet. Such proportions indicate immense physical strength, leaving us to wonder about the potential harm they could inflict with ease. Now, the burning question arises, is this particular image of Bigfoot the real deal, or is it simply a fabricated phenomenon? In this next footage, a group of guys find themselves in the midst of a bone-chilling encounter in the woods at night, and it's enough to send shivers down anyone's spine. Their purpose for venturing into the woods remains unknown, but what unfolds is a true test of their courage. As they navigate through the darkness, the group becomes aware of a pair of glowing red eyes stalking them from a distance. Fear grips them, and they break into a panicked run. Soon they come across a body of water within the woods, compelling them to board a boat for safety. The last person left behind is forced to make a daring leap from a rocky ledge and swim towards the boat. But to their horror, they realize that the red-eyed creature also plunges into the water, relentlessly chasing after them. Even as they reach land and make their way back to their car, the creature continues its pursuit, refusing to relent. In the flashes of light, you catch glimpses of the creature, a humanoid form with pale skin, moving swiftly on all fours. Those who have seen the footage speculate that this could be a skinwalker, an entity capable of shape-shifting into humans or animals. However, the presence of glowing eyes adds an airy twist to the tale, raising questions about the true nature of this creature. Who are these guys? We may never know, but their harrowing reaction speaks volumes. It's clear that this encounter has left an indelible mark on their psyche, forever dissuading them from venturing into the woods again. Next, we have this rather odd footage we'd love for you to see as well. We've been scratching our heads over this one, and we're eagerly anticipating your insights or perhaps a collective head-scratching session. Have a look at the image. At first glance, I'm tempted to call it a bear due to its bear-like visage. But hang on, bears aren't typically this diminutive, are they? Interestingly, this snapshot hails from Louisiana, where bears do roam. However, the local bear species tends to be smaller than its grizzly counterparts. Despite their petite stature, I find it hard to believe they're quite this petite. Despite their small sizes, however, I doubt they are this small. I mean, this looks too small to even be a cub. If you've been on the channel for a while, then you know I sort of make mistakes when it comes to recognizing species of the same family. Am I making another mistake, or is there something odd going on here? Please tell me in the comments section, as I'd really love to know.
Still on strange things, let's dive into something truly perplexing. Feast your eyes on this baffling footage. In this footage, an unknown individual holds a moving creature in their left palm while it exhibits physical bird-like features. The beak area raises several questions. At first glance, the black and white polka dotted spots around it appear to resemble teeth. But teeth at such a young age? Weird, right? But that's not the only unsettling aspect. Perhaps it's the novelty of encountering a newborn bird outside of its nest that adds to the eerie feeling. But although we're inexperienced when it comes to birds, we're not sure birds should look like that. The uploader mentioned it was a gould waddled bat, but a quick Google search will prove otherwise. Contrary to what we've uncovered, the appearance doesn't align with that of young gould waddled bats. So what exactly are we dealing with here? Could it be an extraterrestrial entity, a genetic anomaly, or perhaps an entirely novel species? Well, we can't say. Time will tell, but I have a feeling it won't be pretty. What do you think? Still on ginormous creatures, we travel all the way to Japan for our next footage. Before I reveal more, take a look. My initial reaction, what in the world is that abomination? I got my answer once the whole creature was in view. The sight of the numerous tentacles and arms initially gave me quite a scare. However, upon closer inspection, it revealed itself to be none other than a squid. Not your everyday squid though, but instead a giant squid. This footage was captured off the coast of Japan, showcasing an astonishing giant squid measuring at least 2.5 meters in length. Undoubtedly, seafood enthusiasts might find themselves drooling at its mere sight, yet for those unacquainted with such a spectacle, it could be quite an unsettling experience. It evokes memories of the legendary Kraken from myth and echoes its appearances in various films. While its size is undeniably impressive, let's be clear, it's a far cry from the colossal kraken of ancient myths. But do tell us, will this scare you or would it simply work up an appetite in you? We'd like to know. Next, we have mind-boggling footage captured in Brazil. This intriguing video showcases a glowing being standing in a field emanating an otherworldly aura. The true nature of this entity remains a mystery, leaving everyone puzzled. However, it's worth noting that the area is renowned for UFO sightings, leading some residents to believe that this glowing being could potentially be an alien visitor. Since the footage was taken from a distance, it's challenging to discern distinct features of the being. Nevertheless, one can still make out the presence of arms on its sides and its upright stance, suggesting it stands on two legs. The top part of the being appears to resemble a head. Interestingly, some have even drawn comparisons to an angel, although the absence of wings challenges this assumption, unless of course we consider the possibility of wingless angels. Residents in the area have grown accustomed to the presence of this glowing creature as it is said to make numerous appearances. However, despite their familiarity, one can definitively confirm whether it is indeed an alien entity or simply a shining object reflecting light, giving off a mysterious glow. I have another intriguing piece of footage to share with you. A family captured this footage while hiking in the mountains, and they strongly believe it depicts a sighting of none other than Bigfoot. However, it's crucial to approach the authenticity of the footage with a healthy dose of skepticism and subject it to critical analysis. In the footage, we can make out a creature walking in the distance. Since the footage was taken from afar, it's challenging to discern the details clearly. Nevertheless, the top part of the creature is visible, emphasizing its size and scale. If it were an ape, it would likely appear much smaller or perhaps not even visible from such a distance. 
The fact that we can see this creature from afar suggests its immense size. Now, could it potentially be a gorilla or even a bear? It's difficult to say definitively. However, the way this creature moves on two feet with the upper body clearly visible sets it apart from typical quadrupedal animals. Adding to the mystery, the area in question is not known to be home to bears, gorillas, or any other type of ape. This leaves us with only one plausible explanation, the elusive Bigfoot. Get ready for another spine-chilling encounter caught on camera. This time, it was a courageous passerby who couldn't resist investigating strange noises emanating from the depths of the woods. Now, let me tell you, if it were me, I'd be out of there in a heartbeat. But this brave soul had a different plan in mind. Equipped with a camera and a trusty torch, they ventured closer to the source of the eerie sounds. With every step, the noise grew clearer and more sinister. And then, Right behind a tree, the camera captured a sight that sent shivers down their spine. There it was, crouched on all fours, a pale-like creature that seemed almost human in appearance. Unfortunately, further details about the creature remain elusive as the brave individual's survival instincts kicked in and they fled from the scene without a moment's hesitation. Now, the identity of this creature remains an enigma, open to speculation and wild theories. Some suggest it could be a rake, a legendary creature of horror folklore. Others consider the possibility of a skinwalker, a being capable of assuming various forms. But then, there are those who believe it might be a wild human one who was lost touch with civilization through prolonged dwelling in the unforgiving depths of the forest. However, at this stage, it's crucial to avoid jumping to definitive conclusions. If you thought that was weird, take a look at this footage. Do you see it? Somewhere in the trees, there's a dark figure moving. Whatever it is, it realizes that it's being filmed and tries to hide behind the trees. It keeps staring in the direction of those filming until the clip ends. The uploader of the footage believes it's a Bigfoot, and quite frankly, I'm leaning into that explanation as well. Whatever creature it is, it also has fur all over it and is moving with a human-like gait. There's only one creature that's known to have these features, and it's none other than the legendary and elusive Bigfoot. Could this be actual footage of the cryptid, or is this an elaborate hoax to throw us off? Picture this. You're out for a leisurely stroll, and suddenly you spot the fabled Yeti casually doing push-ups on a hill. Sounds absolutely bonkers, doesn't it? But hold on, because we've got the footage to prove it. Not so crazy anymore, is it? This footage was reportedly captured by an adventurer who was exploring one of the remote mountain ranges in one of the cold regions. Curiously, our adventurer friend has opted to keep the location under wraps, citing safety concerns. In case you're not in the know, spotting a regular-sized human on a mountain peak is like trying to find a needle in a haystack, unless, of course, said human is the size of a small house. The being in this footage is very pronounced, which means it must be very large, which takes away any and all possibility of him being human. Interestingly, according to the uploader, this region is rumored to be a Yeti hotspot. Strangely though, tangible evidence has been elusive. He's confident that this footage prevents the most compelling evidence we've seen in quite some time. But why would a Yeti be doing press-ups? Is it trying to get over a breakup, or am I simply overthinking it? Either way, share your thoughts with us. Do you think that this is the real deal, or is someone just messing with us? We'd love to read your comments.
Nature sure knows how to put on a show, and tornadoes, they're like the heavyweight champs of the weather world. Thought we might sign off with one of those. Enjoy. Here we see a tornado doing its thing as a force of nature on a rampage. Just look how it blows a car off the ground and bangs it back down. And the trees, they look like they're about to be uprooted from the ground. The most terrifying part is the sparks, which I'm suspecting might be coming from the electrical poles fixed in its path. The last thing anyone would want is to be near something like this. It's both terrifying and mesmerizing at the same time. Don't you agree? And with that, we end today's episode. Thank you for staying with us. Before you go, are there popular trail camps out there you'd want us to look at? Don't hesitate to let us know in the comment section. You can also send us strange and unexplainable videos you may have recorded yourself. Just forward them to classifiedcaptures at gmail.com. We'll upload it in our next episode and give you the credit unless you want to remain anonymous. We can't wait to receive your videos. Like, comment, and subscribe. And don't forget to share the videos with your friends and family. See you in the next one.